ridge of high pressure is still in control here and it's going to remain in control as we head into tomorrow. So we get to enjoy a couple more days of warm, sunny, dry weather that will take us through most of the day tomorrow. Now tomorrow night, that's when we'll start to see the clouds on the increase just after dark and then we'll start to see some light rain. That's going to be more toward the midnight hour, more so around the early Sunday morning time frame. Uh, then we're going to continue to see some light rain throughout the day on Sunday. There is a very, very weak chance of a possible thunderstorm or two Sunday into Monday. So we'll be watching that very carefully for you. And then as we head into Monday, we do have the chance to see a slightly stronger wave move through our area. Overall, we're going to see widespread light showers. There is a chance we could see more moderate rain with that uh, system on Monday. We are going to see some gusty winds picking up as well. Now this low is going to continue to drop down to our south. And as it does, we are going to see a stronger system as we head into Wednesday, Thursday. That's going to bring us more widespread moderate rain showers to the area. They could be heavy at times. And as that low continues to drop to our area, we have a lot of cold air with it. And so our ocean temperatures are actually going to be warmer than this actual uh, air mass. So that again will give us a chance to see some instability in our area. That will also give us a chance to see maybe another possible thunderstorm or two Wednesday into Thursday. Of course, we are watching all of this for you. And that low is going to continue to move south and eventually to the east, but still going to generate a few showers in our area. So we could still continue to see some showers as we head into Friday. So we are looking at back to back days of rain here. Overall, at least to start, it's looking pretty light as far as what we're expecting. But again, that Wednesday to Thursday system looking a little bit stronger. Uh, we could see some minor flooding with that. And of course, with some gusty winds, we could see some areas of possible down trees, down power lines. We're going to be tracking all of this very carefully for you. So the next couple of days today and tomorrow, they're going to be perfect for to do any of that last minute storm prep that you need to be doing around your house. Maybe you still have that Christmas shopping you need to do or maybe some last minute decorating. These next two days are going to be great for that. We're going to see mostly sunny conditions, just a few high clouds pushing through the area. That's what we're going to see as we head into the overnight hours as well. A few thin high clouds will remain with us, but as we head into tomorrow, we should start to clear out and I do think tomorrow we are going to see mostly clear conditions. So it is going to be nice out there. We're going to continue to warm up as well. So we'll be a little warmer this afternoon. Of course, we won't have those high clouds as thick this afternoon as what we were seeing yesterday, uh, but we will still have a few thin ones out there. Nonetheless, that air mass is going to continue to warm. So we'll be slightly warmer today, even warmer on Saturday. Here's a look at those afternoon highs though for you. We're going to be in those mid 60s on the north side of the bay. We're also going to see those mid 60s for the San Lorenzo. Valley. We're warming up in those higher elevations, Summit area and Bonnie Dune in those mid 60s as well. Heading down the coast, it is going to be a beautiful day across our coastal locations. Again, if you want the chance to get outdoors, enjoy some beach time, the next couple days is going to be a good chance to do that. 67 in Watsonville, most of our coastal areas will be in those mid 60s. 69 in Salinas. How about some 70s for Hollister in the Santa Clara Valley? Heading to the Monterey Peninsula, we're going to be in those comfortable mid 60s out there. Again, many locations above average for this time of year, especially for our in, inland areas where we're seeing temperatures 10 plus de degrees above average where we should be. 73 for Soledad, most of the Salinas Valley in those low 70s, 69 in Big Sur, and we're going to see about those 69 around there for the Carmel Valley as well. Again, overnight lows are going to be chilly yet again tomorrow morning with 20s and 30s inland, upper 30s to low 40s around the coast.